Yo guys, in today's episode of Racing Battles 1 Grand Prix And I think I have got nice weather today So I guess that would be a great idea to actually go on a drift point battle on rank C in the Honda Beat Because Serix 7 is maybe too big for this track And I decided to be a noob and prepare some car items packs that would allow me for easier battle with those people and as you can see they are mostly K cars and I drive a K car too except I have way more power power haha <laughs> anyway <laughs> those battles will be easy so that's why I'm recording them in fact Also, the funniest thing is that I forgot to actually enter CSX2, so I'm actually <laughs> viewing the game from OBS, but that's fine. And as you can see, by driving pretty badly, we lose points, but as we will win that certainly due to my items that could. That, are con that may be considered as cheater devices, I have just won that by driving pretty badly. To try those items probably help you get more drift points by drifting pretty bad. If I remember correctly I have just tested them partially and I could say that literally turning without drift allows you to score much more points and Surprise, surprise, it's my best, it's my best personal best on this circuit. Wow. I did check this circuit before on drift mode and can clearly say that I have done 24,000 maximum points, well, 24,000 points maximum, so I guess that's something good. <laughs> Anyway, we got a guy in Mitsubishi EK Wagon or Wagon, whatever it's spelled correctly, I am not from English speaking country, but have this have the location I <laughs> have put on my YouTube description and as you can see, I did beat the guy on the first section <laughs> Some brakes over there and there, and actually this track is pretty nice for some drifters because if any if you go outside the track you don't lose the combo and you can still be right. So I guess that's pretty nice for those who enter into drift battles and use cheats to beat this stage. I. I got to admit that when I did record that until the fifth episode, 5.5 was new absolute like series remastered. I got to say that I did cheat on the real battles because I really sucked at them. I really was terrible at them. But one time I decided to give it a shot, like and try to check how it may feel like to drift and do stuff like that in game and I actually found myself maybe with skills enough to survive so I was like okay I'm gonna give it a shot and that's why I'm drifting right now on this episode <laughs> but as you can see those sections actually you can lose points on them which is pretty nice but because I'm just doing section like that, I win immediately. I'm lucky, sorry for that uh, random AI, but you know, this had to be done and we could always try more. And as you can see, this was pretty awful drift. <laughs> but. Mm, not gonna lie, those drift battles are pretty long because they are as long as one lap or in some cases when you are getting like initial D type battle or something like that. 
Uh, which is possible with uh, the Ryosuke, whatever he's called from Initial D rip of bootleg in this game. There's it's the first introduction for you to to stage three battles where it's hard, but I did actually find that guy on SP battle probably if I remember correctly or SP battle RP battle. So and uh, so I luckily had a lot of luck beating him because drifting against him was hell. At least for me. I did beat Takumi Fujibara in this game, but it was because he was a bit easier and, and they, to be honest required the same amount of drift points to be achieved, but mm, the track of Takumi Fujibara was easier. Or maybe they were on the same track, but I think Takumi Fujibara was easier to go. Oh wow! I did score 40,000 points on this battle. Who the F is playing me? Okay, let's go. <laughs> I did beat them, but I think I'm gonna swap my uh, item pack to the, um, A, which is for SP battles. I did learn them. I know them, luckily. <laughs> Remember them and. I'm wondering about selling my legacy and getting Lancer Evolution 8 or maybe Swarm Preds have WRX STI uh, type CRA, but kind of also on the side where I'm thinking it would be to be honest, pointless thing because you know mm, legacy is good, but I still haven't tuned it properly and by the by that. I'm just losing a lot of time on certain tracks and there are some tracks are to be honest impossible for me to do like on one map I had huge trouble getting first place and the only and I just came that place I did want by doing a jump over <laughs> a guy <laughs> On highway, this was literally like there's a corner where if you go too fast, you jump, and you don't know if you should break because the line just appears like there's no jump, and it's like surprise, surprise, you are dead. And literally, I decided to abuse that and did want that race, but my legacy was too slow on corners, literally, and I guess that less than force wouldn't hurt me. Of course, this guy had to race this. Legacy, so it looks awful. I would kill that guy to be honest, but I gotta be peaceful at least, I guess so. And this Legacy is driving pretty fast. If you sell it, can get a pro GTFO. That was awful. That was awful, definitely. What the hell is this guy? Fallout boy or whatever it's called? I never played Fallout in my life, to be honest. And what the... How the F this Celica is over there? What the hell is wrong with the AI in this game? Also, I have to beat three more guys. Three more people in overall. So let's agree. I'm here, Bacon! <laughs> darts! 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 <laughs> okay, let's go kick in GTFO Accord! We don't need you there! We don't need you there! Come on! I'm so I sometimes would there. Why the F this game has to have messed up AI? Like the cars are very same over the course and look! This Honda Accord appeared for the second time. It suddenly teleported itself. I know I know there are hardware limitations but they could at least like make it more legit. They could try to copy the system from the 
Tokyo Extreme Racer 3 or similar stuff. I know that it would suck because there are not so many highway races and it would be pointless because this game isn't promoting street racing. But you could try more because all it looks right now is that <laughs> when you are too fast you start noticing too much stuff and that's bad. Okay, let's uh, go. Uh, yeah, Impreza, you were on Kubai through, if I remember correctly. Or maybe I'm just blind and deaf or stupid. To be honest, I think that I may hit to. 300 km per hour on this track because I remember doing that in EVO 5 Get out, get out, get out my way, get out my way To be honest if I just decided to accelerate a bit faster I would kill this guy already Okay Thank you. And one guy left. And also I'm go I got to say that I have bought almost everything on Super Autobox shop, but I think I won't buy anything right now because I don't need money for a new car. <laughs> I think that going with Lancer or Impressa would be a better choice because they may have Way better customization or way better performance. I think they may be also 100 kilograms lighter even or a bit lighter. So you have a dilemma between second gen imports uh, pre facelift and facelift one because facelift one has way more torque and one who's power more but Waves are also 40 grams more, though I know it will be certainly faster on straight, but I do not know if it will be certainly faster on corners, though I guess the newer specification may have 6 speed gearbox, maybe? Newer version of 2 GT Legacy had 6 speed gearbox and Spec B Legacy 3OR has it also, or it was 5 speed manual, but I think it was 6. I got also dry conditions right now, and why not go for an SP button on Tsukuba? There are only 4 people, and it should be pretty fairly easy, I guess. I, I have SP battle deck, and as you can see, this evolution may be good pick, though. Avoid six like plug in this game, I think. In a way, those rivals are decent, certainly decent, and they will bat a lot of. They will battle for a long time with me, I guess. I have just one feeling about this. But there are no wanderers. No wanderers, which is great, I think. Which gives me hope that it will be fairly easy day. <laughs> okay, we got Lancer for our first dish. Commander! Gas, gas, gas. I, as you can see, the rivals right now may start driving dirty. Which is sample normal in this game. I did. I started to see that when I started to do stuff out of the episode. But just for example, test if I can do something or I just unlock something. And you know, they just start driving badly. To be honest, I think that I would be pretty great right now with Honda Beat because. It has not so much power, but it's very fast on tracks like this. Though I guess that 
on cold tires it's suicide weapon but it's just an easy crack so also power is not anything so everything I did lose some NP points and I would say what they mean but I don't know the meaning and the meaning my friends may say is bit racist so So tiny wouldn't recommend it <laughs> trying to translate it. Translate it. Okay, yeah, guy is ahead of me and it's S2000, S2K, Infinity Team or something like that. To be honest, I. Oh! To be honest, I may consider buying custom car. Like Fujitsu or Lancer Evolution, which is pretty in the car. But to be honest, this would give me no interest. I mean, it would be pretty much pointless car because no tuning ability, you are stuck with hidden values. And all you can do is if you rally, like, that may be some new gadgets and. Man, just repair it, so... Not interesting, <laughs> What I would consider it if it was like... Perfect AF, but... It's not. But I know certainly that... Maybe after beating the game or something like that, you may unlock... Pretty funny MX-5 Maeta. Which is... With pretty weird body kit. But to be honest, I wouldn't mind buying one because it's fairly funny car and I don't know if it would be as fast as the specification says. We actually know the name of this car and nothing else. But it has certainly a good body kit and I did miss the guy. Okay, there's no chance I'm going to catch that guy for a battle. Yep. <laughs> One Lancer Evil Dowie, die, die, die. Please die. It's too fast for me. <laughs> Just kidding. Surprise, surprise, look at what have we got. I suck at driving, or I just have a full setup because I really feel like RX-7 would handle way better. <laughs> it's certainly way better car, but at high power levels, literally, you can't use the power of RX-7, so... It's suicide mission, like with Honda Beat on defaults. It was time for some eco driving because why not? And one person left, and this guy is behind. Also, a funny fact if you <laughs> have overboost feature on when you got your car idling and stuff like that, your car actually overheats. You can literally overheat your car by. By doing nothing. I did check that just for news and found it out of curiosity. And that was pretty interesting thing. Maybe once I beat the game I may do facts episode from this game, maybe. It would be certain stupid idea, but no. Oh, I lost my points. Oh, he ran me. Right. <laughs> this will be certainly a hard battle.
come on! It will take a lot of time. Come on, Lancer! GTFO, I need more space. Okay, it my dust. <laughs> Okay, we got them. We did beat everyone <laughs> currently, but I'm sure that Master or maybe Wonder or Team Leader will appear, but that's nothing I have to worry about right now. And that's probably... Oh, it's RP point battle. What I can say about this car? It's Impreza. It's Subaru Impreza. For sure, and I think that's all for today, and see you in another episode. Bye!